Welcome to part 64 of Final Fantasy X-2. And it's time to say goodbye to this ship, because this will be the last time we'll be here. Shinra and his knowledge. Brother and buddy and their awkwardness. Sin and his grumpy nature. Barkeep and being barkeep. Riku and her skimpy outfit. Pain and her so-so outfit. And Yuna and her skimpy outfit. It doesn't matter because we'll be going to the Far Plains Abyss, and this time we'll probably be here to stay for a while. And by a while, I mean for the rest of this part and for the finale, because that's where everything's gonna go down. And we can say goodbye to Army and Logos, because Army and Logos, well, how should I put it? They're stuck out here in the Far Plains, and yeah. We still kick their asses, though. LeBlanc, too. Speaking of which, here's a funny story. Well, here's a funny thing. LeBlanc is actually in her mid-twenties. She is actually the oldest character on the roster. That's not an unsent. Well, oldest named character in the roster, basically. She's even older than Ormi and Logos, who Ormi is 22 and Logos is 23. She's actually 27. So let that sink in, ladies and gentlemen. She's near her 30s, which is why she wears outfits like that. Oh, and also, funny thing, she has nowhere to go after we're done with this. Now then, it's only a matter of time. So, let us tell you the gist of this place. The gist is, in order for you to even go through the rest of the Far Plains Abyss, you'll have to step on these pads here and play those exact same notes on this keyboard. It may go up to 2, the 5, the 3, no actually no, it's 3, 5, 3 I do believe. And I'm just having fun with the keyboard. Because this, this is so awesome. And I love the piano, by the way. Right here. Sorry, I'm just having too much fun with this keyboard. Honestly, I wanted to try to play chopsticks with this. But unfortunately, I have wasted too much time. So, anyway, that's basically the gist of what we're going to be doing for the rest of this part. Oh! We got new enemies, too! Meet Dark Elemental and... Uh... What the hell are those things again? Oh, right, right, right! Ten... I mean, ten dollars! They have Curse Bite. That's all you need to know. Anyway... The enemies here will give you lots of experience points, so come in with Lady Luck and c Ouch! That sucks. Watch out for the gate, by the way. Well, that's law, so let's get out of the way before I get shocked again. Let's go this way. Ow! Uh, this is the Thunder Plains all over again, isn't it? Well, there's Doty. Oh, God damn it! It is the Thunder Plains! Except I'm inadvertently running into stuff. Leave it to me. So what does the dark elemental do? If you're wondering. Well, it dies. But yeah, the dark elemental casts uh bad stats like bio and uh silence and darkness. That's basically all it does, and also uses Ultima. I do- no wait, it's Flare, never mind, it uses Flare. No, it uses Ultima when it's, uh, Oversold. And oh shit! Look who we found! For the first time, we find the Omega weapon, which is stronger than the- no, which is weaker than the Ultima weapon. And of course, we get the Omega weapon Tootsie Roll! Tootsie Roll! Tootsie Roll! 
Tootsie Roll! Oh, and don't worry, he is nowhere near as strong as he was in Final Fantasy X. Okay, let me rephrase that. He's nowhere near as pathetic as Final Fantasy X. He's only got 24,000 health, but he can put some bad stats on your characters. His swipe is stone and curse strike. Well, his swipe is curse strike, and I do believe he could cause break, and he also can, uh, uh, petrify your, yeah, he can petrify your character, and he, yeah. Okay, let me try this again. He can, does, he can do multiple hits, cause break, and cause curse strike. There, happy. Now, Animat Tortoise. Once its defense is up, oh, we're gonna be here a while. And it's only 7,000. That's pretty damn sad. However, you can use things like Mobile Beam or Cactor uh, Needle in order for you to penetrate its defenses. But, yeah, it is going to be one of those strong... No, it's 14,000. Never mind. It's not 7,000. It's 14,000. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Anyway, you can use Crackdown to get rid of its defenses, and also, you can use Cackling Gun and Mobile Beam to pretty much get rid of its, well, bypass its defenses. Which, of course, makes this a lot easier. Nice knowing you. Hell, you can even use the Gunner to bypass the defenses of most of these enemies here. The gunner can pretty much kill a lot of things, you know. Alright. We've got five notes so far, so let's go on ahead and... Well, four notes, actually. Damn it! So let's go on ahead and... Get the keyboard. Oh, no! Oh, well, wait, wait, hold on. Let me calm down. It's not as bad as in the Omega Ruins in Final Fantasy X. It'll still go down, though. Ah, uh, just gave me a scare there for a second there. Damn it! Let me get to the keyboard. Ah, uh, cleric Showtime. dragon. Showtime. Uh, what can I say about this thing? It's just like all the other dragons, except it'll charge and will unleash a devastating blast, which will do like a thousand to two thousand damage. You might want to be careful, and it also has scratches that will penetrate defenses. Other than that, the Claret Dragon goes down like just like every other dragon. Anyway, next set of notes. I'm just like a kid with a keyboard. Sorry about that. T? Yep, law. And... So. So this is a four-note scale, and the next thing's gonna be a five-note scale. Now, I do cut out a lot because I don't want to repeat battles, but I also end up cutting out because I end up backtracking because I forgot a note. And I don't want to put that put do that to you guys. No, actually no, I, I didn't forget a note. It's just the fact that I was just dollaring around. One, two. God damn it! Stop breaking this damn screen! Ow! Oh boy. We've got ourselves. Oh damn it! Yeah, I already got the note that's down there, so yeah, we're good. Damn it! Oh no, no. New, ca new enemy, Gug. Uh, for those of you who don't know about Gug, Gug, uh, how should I put this? He'll already put up his dupes and will counter you whenever he's, uh, got his dupes up. However, when he oversouls, be careful. Just like the Gygas and just like the Yetis, they will. He will use a hero's drink to make himself invincible. 
and then you'll have to run really fast. Because once he's got that hero streak, you're not gonna win. Plain and simple. So go. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We just got one more uh, nuke to five. No, actually, we've got three. So these two. This will be the last two. You're going down. That's the spirit. And come on. These guys out of the way, let's go ahead and get that note. And this is getting a lot of experience here. Honestly, I could definitely grind here with uh, the Lady Luck. So that leaves five then. Yeah, let's kill these things before they start getting annoying. And with that, Oh, I almost forgot. The, the Dark Elemental also uses Demi as well, so that too can be annoying. And... Oh! Earthworm! Earthworm? Uh... It can eat your characters, and it'll cause an earthquake. Just like in the previous game. Uh, if it eats your characters, it's considered ejected. If it eats all of your characters, you pretty much lost. Well, you... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, it's pretty much... You're, you're ejected, that's all. And Earthworm again. This thing's not that much of a problem if you're at a higher level. And remember, folks, you can use Table Turner and Quarter Pounder for most of these enemies in this stage. Because it'll bypass defenses, and Table Turner will do more damage to them due to the fact that they have higher HP than you do. I can't stress enough how awesome the gunner is. Oh, uh, the Omega Weapon yet again. Well, just kill him quickly and get it over with. Oh, you might want to also be careful too with the Omega Weapon. I almost forgot. This guy also casts... Well, his strikes also does itch proof. Making your... His strikes also does itch. That's what I'm to say. Making it to where you won't be able to attack. So yeah, there's that thing. And it's gonna die yet again. It doesn't get old. Yeah, somebody tells me I'm gonna have to be here for a while. All right. Yeah, something's gonna tell me that. So, let me get over there to the treasure chest, and maybe I can finally get through this stage. And. Just die already. Bye. I'm surprised it didn't oversold. I hope it didn't. I only killed like three of them. But then again, I only killed uh, the... I only killed Boris once and Arania oversold. So yeah, that happened. Uh huh. So let's go and activate this keyboard. Alright, we've got him. And I cut that out because I went backtracking because I thought I missed a note. And I didn't, thankfully. Okay, you can stop playing with the... Me and... Nope, 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 no, you dumbass. Okay, let's try this again. No, I'm having too much fun here. Fa e fa. Nope, nope. So and do. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm just having way too much fun here with this keyboard. Yeah, yeah, I know. The world will probably be destroyed by the time I actually unlock this gate. But you know what? I was just having way too much fun with this keyboard. And with that, the gate is unlocked. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a long cutscene ahead. But first, Omega Weapon! You just want me to kill you again! If your fight was not pathetic enough in Final Fantasy X, you just want me to kill you again! So, yeah, die! That's right, do your Tootsie Roll! We'll be seeing that for the last time! Omega Weapon Tootsie Roll! Tootsie Roll! And with that, that's the last time we will ever be dealing with Omega Weapon or any sort of fiends for a while, because we are going to be going to one of the longest cutscenes in the game, well, not really one of the longest. It's still a long cutscene, nonetheless. Gipple! <sighs> I got careless. Are you all right? I could use a nap. Where's Nuge? He went ahead. Guess she couldn't stay away. I never said where I would wait. Well then, please, take care of Gimple. You dare give me an order? Look, we'll tell Nuge you're waiting like a good girl and doing your part for the team. All right, I'm in. Hey, Dr. P. A gift from Nuge. from two years ago. Said it was inside the sphere camera. I'll watch it later. Hey! You should watch it now. Think about it. You know you won't be able to fight your best as long as it's on your mind. You're right. What do you got in mind for fun? Any ideas, Dr. P? Me? A ship that glides through the air. That thing you mentioned before. If it's for real, I want to fly it. You get to be pilot then. And maybe I'll try my hand at navigation. Then I'll be engineer. Nuge? Captain. Ah, that's perfect. You'd let an amateur be captain? Chill out, Nugster. All you gotta do is shut up and look important. You'll fit the part. Like a club. <laughs> Not working like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> to that pain, I wonder. She's inside you, sleeping. Well, wakey, wakey! Time to set sail! Your captain and your navigator are waiting. Pay attention to the notes, ladies and gentlemen, because if you screw this path up, guess what's gonna happen to you? The moment you step in front of the gate, you're gonna run into Ozzy Dahaka, a fiend that looks like the Guardian Beast, but is world stronger than it. It's probably gonna be a very long fight, but at the same time, you will not be able to actually proceed until you do defeat it. So, yeah. Get this right the first time! And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn this off. And I will see you guys at the finale when we play Musical Hopscotch. 
And finally, in Final Fantasy X-2, take care everybody, because I'm signing out.